Aloha, this is Pastor Tom Choi welcoming you to our Wednesday check-in for July 1st, 2020. One of the disturbing things I have noticed is the disconnect between science and the Christians that are most often in the news. It seems that some Christians and people in general distrust science and scientific expertise and data or just flat out ignore it. Have you wondered why? So have I. What's the answer? I don't know. It certainly hasn't always been the case that there has been this disconnect between Christianity and science. If you go back to the time of Roman Emperor Constantine, the Christian church established hospitals for compassionate reasons, but clearly the best science of the time was utilized hand in hand. In the United States, you will notice that there are hospitals that bear the name like Methodist Hospital or Presbyterian Hospital. In Los Angeles, where I grew up, there was the Good Samaritan Hospital, there was St. John's Medical Center, and the Little Company of Mary, and all were and are healthcare centers that were started by Christian denominations. In Hawaii, we have the St. Francis Healthcare System, we have Pohainani, the senior living community that was originally started by the United Methodist Church and is now run by the Lutheran Church. Arcadia, another senior living center, was begun by Central Union Church. So there has been a long and harmonious relationship with the church and healthcare organizations, definitely scientifically based. So why do some Christians dismiss science? Again, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the fact that people think that science is in conflict with the Bible, such as the creation story. But I see no conflict with the Bible and science. I embrace both. The key is to understand that they have different purposes. The Bible was written way before the modern scientific method was conceived. The Bible was not written to be a scientific book. It was written to be a book about how God is responsible for creation and loves the universe and sent his son to be the savior and teacher of it. Science can't explain God because God cannot be measured by the scientific method. So we shouldn't use science to try to explain God. And that would be like trying to apply hockey rules to a baseball game. It doesn't work. They have different purposes. In the world of science, there have been many scientists who were also strong Christians, such as Sir Isaac Newton, Blaise Pascal, and Florence Nightingale. More recently, and close to us in the CalPAC Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church, there was Paul Terasaki, a pioneer in organ transplant medicine who taught at UCLA and was a member of the West Los Angeles United Methodist Church. But maybe the one who perhaps sums up the harmony that science and Christianity has is Dr. George Washington Carver, an agricultural chemist, agronomist, and botanist who transformed agriculture in America and developed hundreds of products from agricultural crops like peanuts, and sweet potatoes. Carver believed that he could have faith both in God and science and integrated them into his life. He testified on many occasions that his faith in Jesus was the only mechanism by which he could effectively pursue and perform the art of science. And I think that sums it up so well. Let's trust in science. Let's trust our faith, and let's trust that science can work together with our faith to protect people, to find ways to eradicate this virus, and to change the hearts and attitudes of people to look beyond themselves and look for the welfare of God's world and universe. Amen. Now, on a personal note, today is July 1st, the traditional beginning of the conference year for United Methodist Pastors and Churches. Basically, every United Methodist Pastor is on a one-year contract with a church, and it's renewable. 
There are several who are starting new appointments today, including our new Hawaii District Superintendent, Reverend Moon Young Lee. Pastor Lin Tao Mo and I are blessed that we are appointed by Bishop Grant Hagia for another year here at First Church. This is Pastor Lin Tao's 10th year, and this is my fourth. We are so grateful to God and to you all that we can serve such a wonderful church. Mahalo Nui Loa. Our Zoom prayer group starts in a few moments. Join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. for online worship in English. We will celebrate virtual Holy Communion, and as usual, we'll have great music. We'll also take your prayers live during the service. Our Tongan worship service is at 11. I hope you will join us. Until then, may the God who uses science to make love and grace possible be with you always. Amen. Amen.